contagious and some of your behaviors, but not in the infected by a deadly disease kind of way, more like a way to interact better socially. Your brain has this very special feature called a mirror neuron system, which performs a key function in our development. What you are perceiving as contagious actions is actually your brain recognizing and mirroring neural activity performed by someone else, which is not surprising given that mirror neurons are found in the parts of the brain that are responsible for movement, object identification, and speech ability. Let's look at this from a different perspective. Babies are born with no knowledge, so how is it that they can develop the skills required for survival in such a short amount of time? It's almost like they are recording everything they see, analyzing that footage, and then using it to replicate patterns in behavior. A great example of this is songbirds, who tend to match the songs of their rivals. Mirror neurons fire up when a motor act is performed and when it is observed, allowing for intention understanding. Basically, we can understand not only what the person is doing, but why they are doing it. This system plays a very key role in defining how we interact with others. Mirror neurons control the way we learn, feel, and communicate. Having non-functioning mirror neurons can explain behavior characteristics that are outside the norm of society, like those which are commonly seen in people diagnosed with autism. They are also theorized to connect your motor system to your emotional system, making mirror neurons the most probable cause for empathy in humans. So mimicking the yawning of somebody else or crying because of someone on TV is just your brain's way of helping you to have more meaningful interactions with other people. 